Hey everyone, welcome back. For this video tutorial, I'm gonna take a two width sensor HIH6020 and we'll be working on the sensor. So, for that, I would like to visit the website controleverything.com and here search for this required sensor. And here it comes. So, HIH6020 is a humidity and temperature sensor, and these are some of its features as you can see. You can purchase this from here. Now I will be showing the interfacing of this sensor with a particle photon and for that I require a code that is of particle nature. So go to resource tab and here is the particle code sample. Now click on the particle code sample and you can have the privilege to download as a zip file from here. You can have the chance to download the code from our github repository that is control everything community. Now to set up the sensor we need hardware accessories and let's have a look over it. This here is our sensor HIH6020 humidity and temperature sensor which we are going to be setting up. In addition to this we need a particle photon. Now to provide the solution of connection among the sensor and the particle photon and to further make it easy with the other I2C connections we need an I2C sheet. This is available on our website controleverything.com and gently place the particle photon over the I2C shield like this. Now the binding factor among the sensor and the I2C shield is this connecting cable. Make the connection of the cable and the sensor and make sure that while making this connection the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fundamental applies for the I2C shield. Now it looked like this. Next we need to power up the particle photon and comes a micro USB cable into the picture. Insert it up in the power jack. Now we are done with the connections part, hardware part. Let's have a look over the code which we will require to interface with our sensor. So we have set up the hardware connections which we require for this video tutorial. Next we are going to interface the sensor with the required particle code. So for that we require to log into github.com and here search for control everything community which is the official repository for control everything.com and here search in for HIH6020 which is the required sensor and here we go this is a required particle code let's have a look over the instructions for the particle first we have to log into our particle photon and set up the device and this is the link which will help us to live through so go to the link for a brief introduction for that and here comes all the instructions which you have to follow to guide your photon. Next, uh, we have to download or get pull the code and copy the code on the online ID. Go to the link to have a better look. And here we have to copy this entire code, name the code, save and a lot more. Last but not the least, we have to verify and flash the code on the particle particular photon. So dashboard.particle.io user logs will have the details of this as you can see here comes all the output data. So these are the instructions now get back to the code and it's a code with dot ino extension file. First of all as you see we have included the required libraries and define the address for the sensor that is 0x27. We have created some variables here also here. Now in the void setup function we have initialized an I2C communication with serial communication along with baud rate equal to 9600. Now in the void loop function we have selected the data register which is 0x00. We have requested and read 4 bytes of data. Now here we are reading data which is coming continuously and we in the next part we are going to convert this data into 14 bits of humidity and temperature data which is according to the dependencies formulas which are described in the data sheet for HIH6020. After that we have the output data on the dashboard. We have masked the data, uh, formatted the data according to the relative humidity uh, which is in percentage RH along with temperature which is in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how our code looks like this. It's a generalized code. Now after that code we have to work it out on the sensor. So for that 
let's have a look over it now let's give the code a working environment for that copy this entire particle code and go to the build terminal we have discussed earlier and here name the sensor this paste the entire code and now save it now verify and compile the code as you can see it's a great work now flash the code while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash while it will discuss and deliberate will tell that it's a good code so here comes the magenta flash and it's a flash successful now we have to check for the dashboard link which will have the output data on the screen so here's the dashboard link and here comes the data as you can see the data is in relative humidity and temperature format now when I press my finger over the sensor and let's have a look on the reading first there's a change in temperature and relative humidity now when I press my finger again there's again change in temperature as you can notice so this is how the particle code works with the sensor now let's have a look over further so now we have seen the working, the interfacing, the hardware connections, all the stuff of HIH6020 so by our knowledge till now we have that HIH6020 comes from the family of HIH6000 series this sensor is a digital output type relative humidity and temperature sensors combined in the same package the sensors provide an accuracy level of plus minus 4.5 percentage RH and a temperature accuracy level of plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius. This has an industry leading long term stability, reliability, total low cost solution, true temperature compensated digital I2C or SPI output, energy efficiency and a lot more features like this. Due to it, wide areas of these features it can be implemented in the, a lot of applications like HVAC, air compressors, telecom cabinets, industrial incubators, grain drying system, respiratory therapy and a lot more. Now this sensor can be purchased or available on our website controleverything.com and the required code can be downloaded from the resource tab like this. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now, in the end, if you have any doubts, any queries or any part where there is an understanding issue, you can contact me on controleverything.com and be sure to post your queries on our community page. To know more about the articles, blog like this, you can reach us on instructables.com and to know more about these videos, to subscribe more like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. Now in the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day and thanks for watching.